Sacagawea once said, everything I do is for my people. This is relevant because Sacagawea was a person who always wanted to help people out and do things for others. In this presentation, Bree and I will tell you about Sacagawea's early life, her life as an interpreter, her later life, death, and we'll have you listen to some Shoshone music. And then Bree will also tell you about some Native American artifacts that her grandpa has. In Sacagawea's early life, she was born in 1788 to two Shoshone Indians, and then later in life she was kidnapped by some Isidata war in, by a war party, and then later sold to her husband, a French trapper named uh, Toussaint Charbonneau. Her life as an interpreter, she worked for Lewis and Clark in their expeditions exploring the Louisiana Territory. Her husband, Toussaint Charbonneau, was also hired, and that was her husband. On the expedition, she gave birth to her first child. His name was Jean Baptiste Charbonneau. And she, the purpose for her being on that expedition was to um, help interpret and show them the trails and provide directions. Her later life, she gave birth to her second child, Lizette Charbonneau. She then signed over custody with her husband of her first child, Jean Baptiste Charbonneau, to Clark and so he can travel on his adventures and learn more about um, discovery. She eventually died of typhus. Some of the symptoms of that are headache, joint pain, and really bad fever and rash. She's now buried at Sacagawea Cemetery in Wyoming. Now we'll play some Shoshone music for you. It includes flutes and drums. There's some quotes at the beginning, so it'll get started. scraping hide and um, corn off the cob. And then these are some carvings. This half is from North America. It's not relevant to the project, but this, these four on the side are Native American carvings that were actually carved. And this is a buffalo, moon, lizard, and an eagle. spearfish and just to go up and kill buffalo. <laughs> There's some more scrapers. Has everyone seen the hammer? Rabbits and their 
was trying to narrow the <coughs> kids when they started hunting. Yeah. So what was the first row used for? This row was used for training arrows, like for little kids they would use it just to start off. told you about Sacagawea's early life as a, child, as a Shoshone child, her life as an interpreter with Lewis and Clark, her later life, and her death of typhus. You also had got a preview of some Shoshone music, and Bree told you a lot about her artifacts that she has. I hope you all know about Sacagawea and more about Indian artifacts after this